Hello everybody, this is Anayat Mir. I am back for few explanation about SQL failover clustering. I have posted a video last night, but uh, I have received a lot of requests that to explain about a little concept about failover clustering. So here I put together a small uh, video diagram where I am adding some clients or I am showing you that I do have some clients these clients are using an application for example it is a microsoft dynamics crm 2016 or you can even add for testing purposes a windows software update services application with a back-end database as you know that crm applications have a back-end database which is a sql server so here for example i have a sql server but i am setting up this as a three node cluster so just get the idea through i scuzzy sand technology we have a node one node two and node three where we have ms6 ms7 and ms8 servers they are going to have a fair over clustering with a sql 2012 version on the top right side you see a dc3 ny1 dot uh, ny1.com is a domain name with IP address 192.168.1.10. This is my physical server, not a physical, it is on Hyper-V, a virtual server, but I am going to show you live the way it is. ny1.com is a domain name. IP address is 192.168.1.10. Default gateway is 1.1 .1 based on my ISP's IP address. So I want to have internet on it. This network card will be used as a public network and second will be used as a private for heartbeat purposes. The IP of MS6 will be 1.15, MS7 will be 1.16 and MS8 host will have an IP address 1.17. So I am showing you here MS6, my virtual server, which is a very brand new provision ms7 my virtual server with ip address which is acting as a node 2 and ms3 my virtual server I'm, I'm sorry ms8 my virtual server which is uh, my node 3 so these three server in future videos will have sql server 2012 and i will act as a failover clustering if one server fails or one node fails I will show you how it works with, with, with the second one. Then if second one fails or two nodes fail, how it works with the third one. So this was a concept and some information which I uh, have this in Word document. We're going to have a five uh, storage drives which my clients will achieve from my uh, SEN for my iSCSI target which will be DC3 on the top right. You see that one DC3.ny1.com will be my iSCSI target and we will use iSCSI initiator first so first we have to have a, a Windows server cluster and then we're gonna have a Windows SQL cluster so that was the base of this concept is so you're gonna have application server connected to a, a data store where you're gonna have three nodes uh, SQL clusters uh, using uh, f default port 1433 uh, uh, or you can change the port actually this is up to you and uh, if anything happens between all those three sql servers you will see that how will do uh, use or get the benefit of the fair clustering so i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching this is anayat mir